Hey, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet at an undisclosed location in Manhattan. Um, let me say, just, uh, not just, but a little while ago, I was at Trader Joe's. No, it's, it's at, uh, Trader Joe's is just a place. The cat just died recently. Well, you know, peace and blessings on, on his eternal soul. He has a brother that, that started another supermarket when I was in St. Louis. Another, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, as you can see, this is almond cashew, uh, cocoa almond cashew uh, the beverage. It's a beverage. Smooth and creamy, non jerry beverage made with rich cocoa. Ingredients, water, sh cane sugar. There you go. Mm, cane sugar. Uh, almonds, cocoa, pressed, uh, something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Some uh, whatever, some sea salt, some locust, bean, gum, some whatever, whatever, whatever. But that's what they do. Got cane sugar. That's how they do it. But, you know, I'm a dog chocolate addict. Oh, you don't believe me? Let me tell you what else I got from Trader Joe's. Dark chocolate cherry. Dark chocolate covered raisins. Sorry. I like dark chocolate. Okay, look. Come real short. I'm, I'm, some stuff has come my way, right? First of all, let's deal with that cat, uh, Bloomberg. Because this is the question. I'm at the site. Uh, uh, noticing New York blogspot.com and they have this thing because I was looking up because um, it was I was saying like, wait a second Bloomberg got 62 billion dollars how did he get 62 billion dollars I mean I, 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 I wasn't around when Bloomberg was well well, when he first, well, I wasn't around when he was mayor and all that stuff so I wasn't I, don't know, I wasn't following him you know what I mean because I'm in South Africa you know but I'm looking at here and I got this chart here um because they say it's worth $62 billion. Huh? What do I care? I mean, not that what do I care, but that's what they say. But check this out. And the first, uh, what, um, let me put it this way. This chart, this, these figures come from the most reliable, consistent gauge of his wealth, talking about Bloomberg and a bunch of other people, uh, over the years are the annual figures published by Forbes in September of each year. Okay? So I guess the first year they have here for him is uh, uh, 96 he was worth $1 billion. Okay, no worries. Uh, 97, $1.3 billion. Okay, I sort of, you know, I can see. 98, $2 billion. Okay, no worries, no worries, no worries. Keep on going. 1999, $2.5 billion. Now you see, you see a pattern there, right? That was 99. In 2000, he's all of a sudden worth $4 billion. And that was consistent, stayed to 2001. Same thing, $4 billion. Okay, $4 billion American dollars. 2002, uh, 4.8 billion dollars. 2003, 4.9 billion dollars. Again, you can see like, okay, maybe he's, you know, so, you know, blah blah blah. Money makes money, and all the rest of this stuff. Okay. Uh, 2004, uh, five billion dollars. 2005, 5.1 billion dollars. 2006, 5.3 billion dollars. See how? I'm 2007. Uh, here we go. 2007. Uh, 2007. All of a sudden. He sort of like weirdly doubled his wealth because he's at eleven point five billion dollars. Come between two thousand six and two thousand seven, well, whatever. Two thousand eight, he's worth twenty billion dollars. Now I'm really scratching my head. Okay, two thousand nine, it says sixteen billion dollars. Right, it's, this is the interim figure from from March. It says then um, two thousand, also in two thousand nine, um, uh, seventeen point five billion dollars a year. Um, the year of the uh, uh, it says uh, uh, one hundred five million dollars for a direct campaign to his, I guess his campaign expenditures is running for whoever mayor or whatever he's running for. Then two thousand ten, <clears throat> it's like eighteen billion dollars. Okay, now remember, remember in two thousand eight it was twenty billion. So two thousand eleven, this is where they stop here, uh, nineteen point five billion dollars. Okay, so let's take the 2008 thing. This one had because if they have they have some they have some stars here. And when it says that, for more on how Bloomberg wealth declined because he didn't see the financial crisis coming, <laughs> and how to and how to and how to press missed it, see Bloomberg update blah 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 blah. Okay, so it's saying in 2008 nobody saw the stuff happen. That's what they're saying. Okay, 
And here's the interesting thing. I'm going to make a little side thing. Uh, uh, I saw on YouTube uh, Kiki Palmer, the actress. All right, uh, she was being interviewed by um, you know um, uh, you know uh, Uncle Uncle Steve, Steve Steve Harvey, right? And because um, Steve Harvey's trying to always hook people up, you know, because he's the he's the hookup expert, right? He wrote a book on it. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I got you. Um, but uh, she was saying that she is, she has dated billionaires, whatever have you, and she was saying billionaires are just as bad as just regular folks, even worse, because they throw money at a, at a situation. You see? Okay, I'm just putting that as a side note. So what I'm trying to say, is, no matter how many billions of dollars you have, you're probably just the same as everybody else. Even I have no money, so even just like me, right? I could be a uh, you know a decent person, or I can be a dog. That's what's going on here, right? Okay, let me go back to to uh, to Bloomberg here. Now wait a second. If in 2008 I'm taking the highest number, he's 20 billion dollars. Then how come in like you know? Let's say in 10, 11 years, all of a sudden, he's $62 billion. How did that happen? Let's read between the lines. As you know, I, or as you may or may not know, I, 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 I pay attention to... I pay attention to, to Kaiser Report. That's Mike Kaiser, you know, Stacey Herbert, Mike Kaiser. I've been following them for a while, right? And with them, you learn a lot, right? Even if you don't know finance, you just learn a lot. So... What I learned from them with all this fiat money, whatever's happened, this quantitative easing, this is basically like they have to, they lower the, the the race that you can get money, not you, but the banks get money. So if you hooked up into, into that kind of situation, then you're basically getting free money. So all these buildings that you see come up all of a sudden like that, they're like, it's like fake. They're using money, but they're using money that's not real. This money that's provided by the, it's called Fed, the Fed, whatever, the, the, you know, the, 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 the bankies. Let's call them the bankies, right? And, they, and these bankies, especially New York bankies or United States bankies, they control all the other bankies all over the world except for a few countries like I think uh, Iran, China, uh, uh, Russia. Don't They're not a part of the central banking thing. I think somebody else too. Anyway, a bunch of other people. Not a bunch, but some other people. So what if it's, we have to pay something, you have to go through the dollar and the dollar is fake. And so therefore you can build these build buildings or whatever have you with this fake money and everybody thinks that you are grand and whatever have you, but you're not. You're not. Now, here's where I'm getting to start, start reading between the line things. So I, I take into consideration. Then, and they've been saying for years, well, a lot of other people have been saying for years now, that this is the year where the financial crisis is going to, like, really hit. Going to tank, right? So then I was thinking, hey, with this coronavirus, this provides them cover. In other words, if the stuff tanks, they can blame China, they can blame the, the virus, whatever have you, and say, well, that's what tanked the economy, you know? Because you, you, you do know this whole, uh, 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 what we call uh, uh, Wall Street, uh, this whole investor thing, you know, this whole, all that stuff. That's just for people who got that stuff and they, they're playing that game, but that, that's, their, that's their game. But they make that game, you know, dictate to what, what you do. Okay, let me, let, me not, let me get back to the point here. So what happens here? What happens here? They can blame, instead of blaming the banks and this quantitative easing or whatever they have to do, they can, they'll blame the virus. <laughs> they'll blame China. Because they can't, they can't get China straight on. Like they keep on saying Russia did this and Russia did that. But China be doing some stuff too, but they don't, they don't say they don't mention China. It's like they don't mention a bunch of other things. So that's that's pretty well. But I'm thinking like, hmm, this is not uh, this is not looking too good, you know. And where the blame is going, and they keep on you know moving things over, so we don't see what so we don't see what's going on. So I say read between the lines with this stuff, because if you don't read between the lines, you're gonna get caught up in some stuff. You know, we're gonna be believing some stuff that shouldn't be believed. So I'm gonna leave it there because I want to make it short. But I have some more be reading between the lines stuff that I want you to let you know about. And, and I, I report these things from this uh, this location. It's, a, it's like a bunker for me. You know what I mean? I'm not getting out. No, I'm not, I'm not really running away from SARS. And I'm like, well, not SARS. Was was this, the, this virus or whatever. I'm not really running away from that because I'm not right now. I've got a good immune system. I'm not even worried about that stuff. But just beware. Remember. They got their, they got their plans. Anything happens, they have contingency plans, right? That, that they can, they'll say, "Oh, this is happening. Let's put this. Let's piggyback this on there, and then we can get." You see how it works? Mm, they smart like that. They really smart. Don't think these people are dumb. Okay, just to let you know, this is a, a, just a little 
Message from me, T from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>